awesome sights for low light. Hey, I am finally getting around to changing the sights on my MP40 2.0. I got some True Glow tritium uh, night sights. If you're not familiar with tritium, it is a isotope that as it decays emits a green glow, a green light. And most of your tritium sights, I think these are guaranteed for 10 years um, until that tritium has decayed so much and won't let off any more light. I have this awesome little sight pusher here that I got off Amazon and I'll put a link below for that. Um, it is a, put the sights out of the way, it is FNR sight pusher, blah, 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 something like that. Anyway, like I said, I'll put a link in the bottom. Uh, I've used it once already and it worked like a champ. So uh, initial impression is awesome. Only thing that I do is instead of using these little handles here for leverage, uh, it's 15 millimeter lug on here. So I just grab a 15 millimeter socket and wrench. That way I have better leverage on how I'm turning it. And also for better leverage, I have bolted it to my desk here. Uh, so yeah, let's get started on this. I've been waiting to put these sights on forever now and uh, I'm finally getting around to it. So I'm excited about it. And we'll go ahead and get this lined up. If you like what we're doing here and uh, you think we're not too horrible at it, if you would please click the subscribe button somewhere down there, maybe, and give us a thumbs up. That would be awesome. Little YouTube channels like ours, uh, you know, thrive and survive off little of every subscription and every like. So what you do is you can see I'm spinning this here to raise up the bottom so I can get that sight aligned correctly. And then you tighten these sides to clamp in the side of the slide. So this, these MMP sights have a little retention screw at the top, which you can see through there. I've already loosened that and pulled it up. And I can show you what it looks like on this site. See right there, this one is down. So I've already lifted that up in there or else this would not slide out. So and then this top part here, I screw it down and you'll see it comes down and it holds it holds that steady. Actually, I need to slide this towards us a little bit because that, that's actually hitting part of the site down there. So I'll tighten the nylon, screw that down. This slide is not going anywhere. Now, on these MMP sites, according to Smith & Wesson, they can go out either direction. Um, if you're changing your sites, just make sure that you know you get with the manufacturer to see if there's a particular way that they need to come off of your slide, that they're dovetail one way or the other. You can see how this just starts sliding that right off. Try not to shake the camera too much. Let me back it out a little bit here because I am didn't have it quite high enough. It's starting to hit that plastic there. So I will loosen this up. I gotta back it up a little more. There we go. Sorry, my arm's all in the way. There, now I've gotten that. Now I've gotten that high enough where it'll get above the rubber lip there. Actually, 
because it looks like we've taken some of the rubber work with us. Okay, I can feel the tension eased up on this now. So what I'll do is I'll back it off a little bit. Oh, nope. Push a little bit further. It's definitely out of there now. And there is your rear sight. So, make a little room for our new sight to go in there. Oh, one thing, especially on your MMPs, I'm not sure if you can see in there, but the, uh, sorry, inside here is the spring for the plunger safety for your striker pin. So as I'm moving that out of the way, I'm going to kind of hold it down. And yeah, you can't really see it in the video, but it's, it's right there standing up. Okay, so now I have this True Glow. I'm going to loosen up its retainer just a little bit. Actually, it is a different size. But as of right now, you can see that it's it's flush. So I'm going to see if I can't get this pushed down. I might have to take this out and start it. And then I can also show you that spring I'm talking about. So get this sent up some so I can go ahead and get the slide out. Loosen up these grips. Loosen up the top. Now, see, that's the spring I was talking about right there. So what I'll do Make sure I grab the right sides. I'll start this out here where I can push this spring down. Make sure it seeds in there right, and it is. And I've got a good start on that slide. So what's happening now is that as I'm trying to slide it in, through the back, the back sight's not letting it go in that far. So, I gotta loosen up some more. There we go. Move this to the side so it'll give me enough room to catch my sight. And spin that back up to hold it. And if I wasn't reaching around this camera, this wouldn't take me near as long as what it is. Um, the other sites I've changed with this have been just a matter of, of uh, getting it set up and, and going. Um, it's, it's a little difficult if, if you could see my camera set up where the camera is almost in my lap here and I'm, I'm reaching around it. So I'm doing the best I can with that kind of uh, scenario. All right, so now we'll just start pushing this sight to the center. As you can see, this thing works really smooth. And it protects your slide so much better than hammering at it with a punch. All right, we're getting pretty close to center. And you can see on the video here the little millimeter marks. Um, I kind of keep track of where it is close. And then also I have a bore cider that when I get done with this, you know, I can side it up and drift it. Okay, I'm going to call that pretty close for right now. 
and I actually forgot to put Loctite on there before I slid it in. So off camera, I'll slide that out again and put some Loctite on it before I slide it in so that way it'll stay snug. Uh, I just want to sit here and make you guys sit through that. Turn the wrong one. All right, so now I'm going to ease it up a little bit so I can take the slide out. You can see now that that is in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the camera, unbolt this and flip it around because the back side is where you adjust the front sights with. So yeah, rear sights on. Like I said, off camera, I'll do some adjustment and go back and put the Loctite on there so it doesn't slide around on me. And we'll be right back with it. Okay, got it flipped around. Uh, went ahead and got it lined up. Uh, you'll see when I take it out to get the other side lined up, you have to put some kind of piece under here so that way where your recoil spring sits, isn't sitting on this and wobbling it so I have just a block under here to keep it from going anywhere and uh, the front sight has little notches under there you can kind of see them lowered to go into the groove of the dovetail of the front sight that's why you turn it around and see how it says front sight on here well it says front all right so let's get to pushing that out And I brought up a, got the Loctite from doing the other one off camera and remembered it for this front sight. So the front sight seemed to be a little tighter than rear sight, but you can see that we're getting it pushed out of there. out a little bit and you can see the front sight just falls away there so I'm saving these sights because uh, I think I'm gonna end up putting them on my SD9 because uh, it has a little bit cheaper plastic with a painted white dot where the MMP sights are a little more durable and they fit they're interchangeable so I think that's what I'll be doing with these I'm gonna save them for that Set them over to the side. Got my true glow here now. I'm gonna line this more back up center so I'm not doing so much turning on it. Now, I am gonna get a little bit of Loctite on this one the first time instead of like the rear sights having to do it again. Luckily, this does not make it that difficult to do. something and get it started in the groove my big old honking hands can't get in there there we go there I can start moving this one over Much easier than punches. I don't know, and it does so much less damage to the slide. Now my hand on the other hand. All right. 
right, that is about centered up. So now I'm going to back it away. And there, we now have Trugolo tritium sights on our MMP40. Uh, if you have any questions about this product, uh, Trugolo tritium sights, anything, hit us up in the comments below. Uh, like I said at the beginning of the video, if you wouldn't mind, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you could. Uh, that helps us out, and we'll talk to you guys later. Have an excellent day.